like using machines automatic machines uh, the machines which are using right now are manual or they must be automatic i don't you have you have many machines uh, which are cnc also but uh, yes the machines which we give are around uh, we can say around 10 years of uh, india generally we compare it with europe or any other uh, countries which is 10 years back uh, in machineries so there are many machines which uh, many of our customers use but uh, they are not into the colleges which uh, we study in even i have done my engineering and uh, i have not used any of the machines uh, by hand so uh, the the main motive here is to connect you guys with the industry so as as you know the as you will be interior designers you will be architects uh, you will be coming out of the uh, college and you will be uh, maybe searching for jobs you will be uh, looking for uh, putting off your so there are around 1000 uh, customers all across india and in pune also we have around 100 150 customers who are using our machines but uh, the main motive is to connect you guys with the industry so uh, you will use the machines so now we will be having all the machines downstairs uh, on the ground floor and uh, you can you can go there use the machines uh, you can you can work on the machines you can uh, all day you can make a furniture if you want on a saturday on a sunday if you want uh, you can you can you want to use a machine it is free to use you can uh, go there design yourself engineer yourself and uh, that is what then then it won't be a question where uh, uh, after you complete your studies it won't be like uh, uh, how to use a machine or there'll be a, there'll be a guy where he'll be use, there is will be a there'll be an educated person or he'll be a special person will be using the machine but he doesn't know how to operate the machine you'll be you, you know the machines and then you can go to them teach him how the how the machine is used but uh, generally girls are little bit far away from the machines but uh, we assure all the machines we have our c rated machines and all are well designed in uh, europe or all the, all the safety norms are maintained so you don't have to worry about uh, the safety thing you can go there use uh, the machine even my our, our team would be there so even i myself would be there my team would be there uh, to assist you to how to use the machines and uh, that is what we can take it ahead from there uh, i'll just show you a, a presentation where you'll understand where the industry is going right now so would be very interesting for you so this is a couple it is in, in italy there's a mall so there's a there's a just one machine in a mall so as you say they they wanted uh, a small wardrobe for their uh, home so they took all the measurements and they went to the mall so it is very simple there's a mini factory in the mall as you see sound sound so the concept is called uh, close to customer so so they have all the documents where they have measured their length the width the height whatever they want of the wardrobe and they give to the operator there's just one girl as you see there's a girl working on it so the dimensions are fit to the machine the length width height the color of the laminate everything uh, you can select on your own and then you can go for a walk on the mall and uh, by the time you come back the the furniture would be ready so there's no operator working on to it as you see and the operations are also very uh, nicely given as they cut the machine also cuts so even the machine can do the edge banding part also i suppose you all the guys know it what edge banding is what cutting is yeah even the drilling can be done on the machine the same machine and it works on just one uh, command given and then the machine works itself so the the furniture is ready it goes on to the conveyor and it goes to the goes to the packing department and by the time they come uh, all the furniture they wanted is flat pack ready into all box packed like this so the the diy kit is given into it so you can just join it yourself make it yourself so easy easy to make furniture now 
so this is what the industry is going into but uh, yes the traditional machines are also required you require a cutting machine you require edge banding machine but uh, yes the you can you can think of and the industry can give it to you so that is the main motive where we want all the guys all the girls to uh, connect to the industry you know the machines you know the operations and then you can design it by like this because there's a there's a disconnect between the designer and the 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 guy who is making uh, the furniture or the or whatever the part it is so they don't know the measures if you want to cut it in a 45 but there's a no, there's no machine which can cut it on two angle then you can no, you cannot make it into a factory so then you have to alter your design or you have to alter your furniture so that is uh, a bit of a uh, concern in the factory so that is the main motive which capel is working for and uh, your fact your your uh, college would be associated with us uh, for a long time and we hope uh, we, you all uh, like the machines and uh, we thank you all we thank uh, kashyap sir also we thank uh, kiran sir for the support and i would like to invite mr satyan our ceo would, who's uh, been working on this project since many years and uh, he would like to brief you more on to the the subject please sir Good afternoon, everyone. I am uh, Satyan Tukral, uh, CEO of Capital Industrial Solutions. First of all, uh, thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for your time. Uh, we have a few of our customers from uh, Pune. We have uh, students. We have some faculty over here. And uh, it's just a beginning. And we are uh, going to have uh, a long-term relationship with the uh, BNCA. So Kepel was uh, started by my grandfather 45 years back. I am third generation into machine tools. 10 years back, uh, I ventured into um, panel processing uh, dedicated to woodworking industry, uh, solid wood furniture, uh, doing surface finishing, drywall construction, ACP fabrication, solid surface fabrication and because we bring in machines from Europe the sales model is uh, the business model is sales through education where we uh, set up uh, our demo centers invite our customers invite industry uh, designers architects contractors carpenters to understand the machine tools understand the process optimize on the resource and uh, do the most efficient way do the achieve the best quality so as uh, rightly uh, said by uh, Nelson Mandela this is the most powerful weapon to change the world and I truly believe in in this quote we have uh, we have uh, now um, our Prime Minister's vision for uh, skill India for make in India taking carrying this uh, vision forward uh, we have uh, um, uh, so as you all know we are a demographic uh, capital of the world uh, we have uh, many smart cities coming up uh, the demand the domestic demand is great uh, the international potential is there uh, but there are some challenges uh, that our, our students, our designers, when they go out in the industry, they are not industry ready. So there is a demand in the industry. At the same time, there is a skill gap. So if uh, if you are able to design it proper, if you are able to engineer it proper, if you are able to understand the process, the production process, when you are moving out of the college, it will be easier for you to be adapted by the industry. They need not train you again from scratch. So challenges uh, when you go out and set up your own factory, you have different challenges. It might be land availability or uh, um, uh, the size of the workshop, uh, the finance uh, availability, the skill gap, uh, productivity, quality, efficiency, uh, zero defect, zero effect uh, is the concept. Uh, so you need to adapt to that, which is sustainability. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, challenges of uh, uh, trainers uh, training institutes uh, so labor is cheap but 
the skilled labor in India is very very expensive uh, we have uh, issues with compliances uh, to understand these kind of compliances and adapt to these compliances then we have labor poaching so we we poach uh, the skilled labor from the industry instead of coming at uh, 100 we we post them at 120 150 when the labor comes in expensive our cost goes higher when our cost goes higher our selling price goes higher because there is no value value addition that a person would do when he's switching over from one company to another company only the price would go up and there is competition from our next door countries uh, like china they come in and say why don't you buy us uh, buy from us and they being the factory of the world are able to offer uh, furniture at a cheaper price so we india basically loses entire business to china just because we have not created the pipeline of skilled labor so few of the challenges what uh, we would like to overcome um if you if you consider india's gdp to be 7.5% growing at 7.5% uh, one third of the GDP um, as a thumb rule uh, would be the growth in labor uh, but if you see the growth in population it is around 1.4% so there is a deficit of 1.1% into 1.3 billion people that means uh, there is a demand of labor and we will fill in uh, this gap uh, very soon in next 10 years you will see many people who are on the fence so like previous generation you don't see many women working for carpentry because it was always considered to be a man's job with hard labor uh, but not anymore with power tools and with cnc machines we see many women coming forward to join this industry and now it is no more hard skills so women who were always on the fence whether to work or be a homemaker I believe uh, they will be part of uh, the labor market uh, and they are as efficient or maybe even more efficient uh, sometimes on on factories and I'm sure they'll be contributing to the growth of the country so 12 years of education versus uh, vocational training I'm sure vocational training will um, get you a better job uh, versus uh, 12 years of theoretical education what normally our education system is teaching so uh, I'm sure with practical training you'll be um, having much more opportunities uh, once you are out of the college so zero defect zero effect is the mantra given by uh, our honorable prime minister zero defect being the best quality in given resource zero effect being uh, safety of the workers safety of the environment safety of uh, uh, the machines uh, optimization of all your inc resources including raw material time energy and once you achieve this then you are sustainable so anything that you do if you are not sustainable then it would be expensive and it will be short term so I believe uh, with the uh, with the system, machine tools and systems and processes, what will teach you, you will be uh, working towards uh, zero defect, zero effect. Uh, the machines, as uh, Nimit said, are all highest on the safety standards. Uh, you will be um, you will be happy to work with uh, these machines with uh, uh, with your health and safety being the first priority. We are also part of uh, World Skills India, uh, World Skills India, and uh, World Skills uh, competition. Uh, so we are proud to be um, partners with the government on this. So, so if you go to World Skills India uh, website, you will understand there is Olympic of Skillings that will be now held in 2019 in Kazan, where you can have a gardener, mason, carpenter. Uh, uh, drywall construction guys uh, um, health and beauty guys uh, who will be participating in these competitions so one skill set per person per country is allowed and uh, there is a age limited so uh, you don't have uh, 
professionals going only amateurs can apply for this uh, do uh, do see world skills india um, uh, competition dates uh, so national competition is going to be held sometime in october um, 2nd of october uh, please follow that uh, it might uh, inspire you to participate in world skills competition uh, next year or year after that furniture fitting skill council um, so uh, as everyone knows so we have prime minister's office under prime minister's office we have cabinet ministry um, and then we have uh, other ministries the new ministry is uh, one of the new ministry is uh, ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship that is msde under msde you have nsdc national skill development corporation and under nsdc you have 40 skill sectors uh, working uh, on different skill sets uh, including construction or automotive or um, or uh, telecom and one of them is also furniture fitting skill council the objective of furniture fitting skill council is to first map all the carpenters in the country which come in from unorganized sector so customers uh, who who have uh, carpenters working with them for ages but they don't have any formal education or certification government will map all the skill sets to their aadhar card and they will be linking all the skill sets uh, with the aadhar card so they will have data city wise data they will have age wise data they will have gender wise data and then they will be able to find out the skill gap in a particular industry and fulfill it by uh, training uh, with, through vocational training centers that will be uh, registered under pmkvy the mapping process is called uh, recognition of prior learning it is rmp uh, rpl rpl certification it's recognition of uh, prior learning there is a uh, uh, a fresh training that is going to happen uh, under the same scheme uh, that is for 350 hours uh, upgrading the existing skill sets skill sets to to the next level so as we uh, we are uh, into sales through education last year it was an honor to show uh, the demos uh, to honorable prime minister this was at kanpur uh, the picture was tweeted by the prime minister office so this was um, in december 2016 we were also fortunate to show demos at uh, devghar bihar uh, to honorable president Uh, also uh, festool was uh, uh, invited by honorable uh, skill minister mr rajiv pratap rudi uh, we got a chance to show similar demos to honorable chief minister of uttar pradesh akhilesh yadav so this is india skills competition that was uh, held in uh, 2016 and another one is uh, in 2018 october 2 this is one of the tableau what uh, uh, we displayed at uh, uh, 26th of jan uh, and uh, it was award winning tableau where we had uh, uh, festool being displayed on um, on the Re uh, republic day parade um this is the skill van what goes around the country uh, for rpl and uh, training Uh, we also invite uh, i trainers from iti for a days orientation and um, uh, industry partners are also most welcome at our demo centers to spend their entire day uh, at our demo centers to understand the latest systems machine tools systems processes so this was by triple id we were a uh, part of setting up a workshop at uh, telangana prisons in cherapalli hyderabad where uh, we have set up uh, uh, a workshop with the european machine tools at uh, this jail it's one of the finest uh, rehabs that uh, india has
so our core capable core purpose is to deliver the best solutions with consultancy in application and process leading to excellence that's the acronym of capable and uh, i'm sure uh, will help you understand um, the needs of the customer uh, teach you on the right application and processes that will lead uh, you to the um, excellent part uh, that, that will help you lead um, the industry and take uh, india to the next level so with uh, china being a factory of the world or europe being at very high efficiency levels in terms of uh, research and education we have uh, one strength what these two uh, uh, these two areas they don't have and that's power of uh, customization and i'm sure uh, with the with learning by systems and processes with learning the right systems and processes you will be able to bridge this gap and will be able to deliver high value uh, high value products to the entire world thank you thank you sir I kindly invite our director, Dr. Anurag Kashyap, to felicitate Mr. Ingo and Inamdar Sir to felicitate Mr. Satyan. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Kiran sir and Shinde sir on stage. I kindly request Mr. Satyan and Dr. Kashyap to exchange the M MOU. Emos will now hand over the dongle to our institution. Thank you. I now request our director, Dr. Anurag Kashyap, to speak a few words.
our guest of honor today mr ingo mr satyam his entire team the related uh, professionals one of our parents mr zarkar uh, mr inamdar sir who represents the management of maharshi karve sri shikshan samstha dear professors and my dear little sweet angels <clears throat> i am absolutely glad today to have all the professionals and industrialists here because uh, i always believe in one thing that education cannot uh, just um, be completed within four walls of classroom or four walls of the studio but it 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 will be complete only when it has interaction with industry and we have to bridge the gap between industry and education so this is our philosophy and we keep working accordingly we keep inviting many industrial industrialists professionals and um, many successful designers from the profession to interact with our students today it's a moment of our pride that we are getting a great help from mr ingo in terms of this software amos and also the machineries from mr satyam no course should be a bookish course you just cannot sit on the laptop or on the screen and you just cannot learn only through screen but you have to have hands on experience and that dream is going to come true now along with our famous fab lab <coughs> or the robo and 3d printing and cnc laser cutting we already have along with that equally good the international level international class machineries we are going to receive from mr satyam it's a great honor because you know there are there were many institutes available but our institute was selected across maharashtra i think this is the only institute in this particular zone and so thanks for selecting this institute and yes okay good this is not going to stop here but we are going to have a long term association a continuous interaction so far as the softwares and so far as the machinery is considered we will require all of your help continuously and we have to see to it that we are producing a good and skilled professionals promoting make uh, make in india or the skill development program which is a vision and dream of our great honorable prime minister so we have always thought or we have always look forward to having business women or women entrepreneurs and we just don't want to produce a skilled labor but we want to produce skilled professionals and in this endeavor i am sure that these softwares and these machineries are going to be a great help i sincerely thank inamdar sir for that he stood behind us from the management side and he told us that whatever is required you go ahead and we'll we'll get everything from the management because we are going to require a good lab now and the work has already started already the designs are ready and soon you will see in next uh, couple of weeks the things will be in place and then there will be a big inauguration program as well so today is it, it just we have exchanged the mous and we have received the dongle but there will be a proper inauguration program in a very big on a very big scale maybe the chief minister of maharashtra we are looking forward to have him here 
and some representative from the PMO office or from or some central minister like uh, Prakash Ji Zawadekar sir who is HR minister. Both of them are connected to this college. So I'm sure both of them will come here and they will promote uh, these programs which are in line with the national uh, perspective or national programs. So with these words, I again welcome Mr. Ingo, Mr. Satyam, his entire team, professionals in BNCA and uh, let us start a long-term association. Upon Sagay Myun, जे इथे पुण्यामधली मंडळी आहेत तर सगळे मिळून आपण एक छानपैकी एक असं एक्झाम्पल सेट करू लेट्स सेट अन एक्झाम्पल बिफोर द इंडस्ट्रियल अँड एज्युकेशनल वर्ल्ड दॅट हाऊ इंडस्ट्री अँड एज्युकेशन कॅन कॉपरेट विथ इच अदर अँड द कॉन्फ्लुएन्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्री अँड कॉन्फ्लुएन्स इंडस्ट्री विथ एज्युकेशन कॅन प्रोड्यूस वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिझल्ट्स वी कॅन प्रोड्यूस वी कॅन सेट अन एक्झाम्पल इन फ्रंट ऑफ the entire industry or the before the entire society so upon punyatli mandali ithe nehmi yet ja ani saga college ami aplyala dakho dakhalela asel bote kiran saranni ani apan sage milun he college aplach ahe this college belongs to all of you all the professional please uh, note this ani ithe yeun apan आमच्या मुलींना शिकण्यामध्ये आपण सगळ्यांनी मोठ्या प्रमाणात सहकार्य करावं आणि तुमच्या इथे असण्याने त्या मुलींना जे नॉलेज मिळणार आहे वेन यू आर हियर इन पर्सन अवर स्टुडंट्स आर गोईंग टू बी बेनिफिटेड इमेन्सली तर हे लक्षात ठेवून आपण सर्वांनी इथे नेहमी येत राहावं असं मी आपल्याला सगळ्यांना अपील करतो अँड विथ दीज वर्ड्स आय वन्स अगेन थँक बोथ मिस्टर सत्यन Uh, he initiated uh, the entire process and the instrumental was mr zarkar so and i congratulate uh, digital interior design team for this uh, fetching this kind of success and i'm sure it is going to be a new dimension to digital interior design course and many further courses also we are planning to start under uh, prakash doshi sir's leadership Uh, who is leading the skill development program so uh, definitely you will come to know different announcements of uh, s- short time courses and proper other uh, say maybe perhaps product design or courses like that so i welcome you all once again and let's start our relationship from now onwards for next 100 years to come thank you so much Thank you sir as we know today we are celebrating emos innovation day hence i request mr ingo and his team to come forward and give us a presentation about emos good afternoon It is my first time that I have been in a girls' school. <laughs> It's not my first time in Pune, but first time in a girls' school. And it feels not that bad. <laughs> um, I thank you very much for the warm welcome. Um, we will give you today an introduction about the software and about latest technologies from the market. As you can see in the screen there are many words in industry 4.0 online sales virtual reality catcom thank you much better so we see here a lot of words product configuration virtual reality catcom online sales cloud services all this technology is coming up to the market and the first who pick up this solutions is always the economy the people who have to run their businesses have to optimize their business they are looking forward for the latest technology but the technology is driven by people and in future the technology will driven by you 
by people who has the capability, who has also the knowledge how to operate clever design to a customer from the point of sale. And therefore, we are very, very happy to be here today. We are um, proud to um, service you with our software. And we are looking forward to have you in future as a skilled person here in India. Thank you. EMOS is since nearly seven years or ten years part of the Indian market. The first customer, funny wise, comes from Pune. And I was so happy today because um, before I arrived here at your college, I was visiting him. And he told me exactly the same, what we have seen before. Education will be the most important thing for the future. And he told me also, he need people like you, educated people who has basic knowledges in the latest technology. I will give you some words about our company. EMOS was founded 1993 by a professor, Dr. Preckwinkel. Professor in Germany means teacher. And he is still a teacher in a German university, doing exactly the same what you guys are doing here. He is teaching young person, young ladies and young boys how to lead the latest technology to the industry. I hope everybody of you knows what is a CNC machine. A CNC drilling machine. Huh? You can put a panel on it and then you can start the button and the machine is moving and make drillings. Groovings. Or it brings it, um, the form of the piece of panel. At that time, 1993, the first CNC machine were launched in the market. Big companies, kitchen companies or furniture companies, they bought the first CNC machine. They bought it, they placed it in their workshop, and then the problem was there, how to operate the machine. So they need people who knows to operate the machine. The next problem was how to adapt a design into a CNC program. So if you design a cabinet with the hinges, with the adjustable shelf holders, you have all these drillings in the side panels. So you have to teach the machine how to make the drilling. At that time, Mr. Preckwickel was in a research company, in a government research company, which was close to the university. And he got the order, please give us a tool, design a software solution in which I can make my design and transfer this to the machine. That is called cut cam technology. Still our core business. And then, this is the only point I like to really uh, highlight here in the history. The others are just some uh, milestones in our uh, company. But uh, then the history starts uh, in 1993, so 25 years ago. In 2001, we start with e-business concept since 2010, we are also approaching our software to machine suppliers. Um, in 2013, we've got this augmented reality. Um, and right now, we are running this iX software solution. Exactly the software we are like to launch here in your college and give you the possibility to be educated on the software, be ready for the market, and be ready to get a job straight after your college time. And I hope this will happen. I will start now my presentation in EMOS. It's not just in PowerPoint. I also like to show you how to design a kitchen or how to design a piece of furniture, including all these fittings. Everybody knows what is Blum or Hettish or Heffler or Epco. I think you have heard about it, that you know that the panels come together with screws and some connectors. In EMOS, we always design cabinets in a 3D design. Automatically, we also apply the hardware in it. And the hardware, the fittings, they will give us the information where to drill and how to drill. 
and we will translate this to the CNC machines. And this is um, what I'd like to start right now. Give me a second. I stop from here now and I start the software, exactly the software you will get in your, in your lab. There will be a password for sure you will get it. And then the software starts. I think you are, have seen a bit of cut solutions like AutoCut. AutoCut is a part of the software. It's just a part as an OEM version. OEM, we implemented the AutoCut in our system. And I'd like to start now to design a cabinet, just give you an idea how it could look like. Where's the laser pointer? In EMOS, we have always here a 3D cube. That could be a five angle cube, it could be a standard cube. And here in the top corner, we always have a sizes, which you can customize. I will start with this. And I will give them a height, a new height, my new cabinet should have a height of 850 millimeter. I just plug it in and automatically it will transfer the size. The same with the width. And I can adapt a new size and the depths the same. This number is always flexible, always parametric. And now I start to give my cabinet a left side panel. So if I tick on the left side panel here, I know already that the left side panel has a depth of 750 millimeter and a height of 850 millimeter. If I save it, I have to give this to a new name, so maybe a new customer name or a new project name. I will call that BNCA, so the first cabinet designed here in that school. And I can place it here. And now I have here the 3D information. I also know exactly the edge bending. While I place this panel inside, I can see here now the edge bending thickness. And also we can calculate already how many meters of edge bending we need for that panel. It's an all around edge bending, for example. And Emos is in the background having an SQL table which says, okay, this cabinet left side panel 850 height 570 in the depths and the thickness of the panel will be 18 millimeter this has an edge bending of a consumption of let's say one meter and 88 millimeter for example if i like to add no other panels to modify my my cabinet to a final one i just tick here the left side and the back panel and a top and a bottom. And if they please give me also a toe kick. All these commands you will get in your lessons. Easily you can work out so new cabinets, new designs according to your demands. So what we see here now, we have now that cabinet finished. We have now here the fittings. The fittings are very important. The fittings has now here position, there's a systematic behind, 32 millimeter distance, all that stuff which is not well known in the industry. We will teach you how to use it. And we have now here also the position of the fittings and we know exactly where is the drilling patent. In case I like to change these fittings, I go now to my cabinet and make a connection scan. Connection scan means I will scan all the hardware which is content of my design and I can choose new hardwares, maybe which are available here in Pune, which will be available in your own lab, or which will be available in your customer's place. 
So if I tick on this one here, automatically it changed the position as well as the drilling information. But now, if I'd like to make a sideboard, you can see now here the side panel goes through and the top shelf is between the side panel. If I like to make a side port, it looks not that nice, so I need a top shelf which has an offset, let's say, an overlapping of some millimeters. For this, I just modify the article and say this top shelf should not have an inset principle, it should have an onset principle. And I can give them here some onsets as an offset. I apply it and automatically I have now here an offset and an overlapping. And that's because of the software. Automatically it will change the position of the connectors. Important later for your production details. I also can take here the edge and say, please, I don't like to have linear edge, please give me here a curved one. Genius, huh? <laughs> so it is just an, an information which we add to that cabinet and automatically we have that involved in. So I hurry up now a bit and I try to add on some um, draws. I modify the article again and I say I like to have here some partitions so I like to have the design of the cabinet according to my idea. So I can make here some dividers, I can have here a partition and as you can see now here in that corner I say the partition should have one to one to one. 1 to 1 to 1 means every partition, every zone here has the same distance. If I make it as modular cabinet and if I change here the width to 2500 millimeter for example, again it will stretch and 1 to 1 to 1 means all of these zones will have the same dimension. But what happens if you buy a kitchen? What happens if you like to introduce that cabinet having also appliances or a fridge, a fridge or an oven, a microwave? They have always fixed distances. So we have to make a fixed distance in the middle one. And I say this is 450 millimeter. Whenever I put millimeter inside, the middle one is fixed. The same can happen in the height, in the depths, and so on. So you can make it as a parametric cabinet, which is flexible, but you can have certain zones inside which are fixed for hardware which you have to import. I will go back to a width of 1540 millimeter. I make a double click inside. I just choose now here some shelves. I say, please give me two shelves. I like here adjustable shelves inside. I like to have a door inside. Um, I like to have a door with a handle. Where is it? And if I like to have it also on the right side, I just copy and paste it. The only thing I have to do is I have to tick here the door and change from left to right. I like to have here, let's say, um, a fixed shelf. And I like to have also here two drawers inside. So I say, please give me two drawers. And I like to have that now in my drawing. I'm not um, that genius like the software, but it works well according to my um, to my comments I give to the software. So what we will do is 
We don't teach you how to make the software, we will teach you how to use the software. The same with a car. Huh? We don't teach you how to build a car, we teach you how to drive a car. The same with the machines. So now if I have a look to the details of that cabinet here, I also see now, oh, where is my X-ray function? I see now here also my details of the handles. I also can have a look if I want to to my hardware. So you can see now all the details from the industry. This is a sliding part from the drawer comes out from Blum, Hettish, Heffler and Druss and I have it now in my system. I also have the information for my explosion view. All of this is important later on. If you build up a piece of furniture, if you customize a furniture and if you deliver that to your client, your client need to know how to assemble it together. Your client also need to know where is my left side panel, where I have to put it. And your production plant, they need to know where are my drillings. And the production plant like to also know what kind of hardware is inside. So the consumption of the hardware, the consumption of the edge bending, the consumption of the, of the panels. All these details is a job of a designer. You have to deliver these details to your manufacturer to have this piece of furniture available for your client. In Emos, we have here a nice button. The button called Document Manager. I have here now Report in Emos. And I create now the documents. What is funny? And we have here a software tool comes with a cut cam technology called Organizer. Organizer sounds a bit like we have to organize something. That's true. I have here my order manager. And in the order manager also we see here there is a new where is it? I have to save it. I have to save it as an order. I give them a name, B N C A. I can generate here my CNC files automatically. I will save it now. Now this cabinet has a name. I can choose my machines. And now I have here a refresh button and there is a new order called BNCA a cabinet and my BNCA cabinet also got now a price a price of this is a price of all the hardware of the manufacturing cost so we know exactly how many square meter is inside how many screws are inside and all the details which are available for this cabinet. If I open my report here that feels good. I will open here my report and I ask for some for some information according to my according to my um, design I did so Emos is able to create also some reports
It is the first time that I've got so much attention according to a software. So now, what Emos is doing, after the design is done, we are creating automatically an explosion view with the single leads to every panel. We are doing automatically a front view and side view and top view. And where is my sites? We are creating for every and each panel the single part drawings, including the drillings. Everything is optimized in, in just clicking one button. And here we see the left side panel. You can see now the left side panel with all these dimensions, with the drilling points, with the grooving. For you, it is for you, it is important to have these details as a designer when you send it to the manufacturer. For the customer, these details are, doesn't matter. But the manufacturer, he needs it. And if I have a look a bit more into these details, we see here there's a name of the side panel. You can see here the name BNCA1002. This is the name of this left side panel. For the industry, they need also the barcode and the CNC files for the left side panel. We see again the name BNCA1002. We see a barcode and we see here it is a side panel, position number one. We see the sizes of the side panel. We see here also the CNC file I have produced for the side panel. And also what we see here is, there's an edge bending in front. Melamine white, 0.3 millimeter. There's also an edge bending over here and there. We also see, this is the first edge I have to apply. And this is the second edge I have to apply. Because here is end trimming. And this goes through. And if I scan this barcode, this edge bending barcode, the machine, I just make a shortcut. I open now here the M order. There's a new order automatically filled in. I will open this. This folder. Here you can see now again BNCA1002. If I scan that barcode, the machine will open exactly this file and we will transfer all this drilling information to the different machines. Either it's a Homark machine, or it's a Biesse machine, or an SCM machine, or it's a manual um, worker who makes the drilling, he will get the drawing for that patent. So automatically we'll apply this and we see now the drillings, we see also the groovings and all this information has already been translated to the machine language for every in each panel. So I go back to my report and I have to look to my quantity survey. We have, you know, the table of that, of that panel, of that cabinet we have designed. And we have a total consumption of 7.73 square meter divided by four different panels, particle boards, or MDF, or plywood, according what you have designed. We also see that we have here 25 meters of edge bending involved in that cabinet. We have here listed down all the connectors. We see we have 118 different connectors involved in this. Blum, Grass, Hefle. And we can calculate how long my machine needs for that production. And now we can save that as an Excel PDF or Word. 
I save it as an Excel. Now it's coming up here, Excel file, a new one. I open that Excel file and automatically is applied as an Excel file. The same, I have available, where is it? As a cutting list. So we also provide the cutting list for the parts, dimensions, and also here the quantity, how many of those panels are needed, thicknesses. Again, we can save it as an Excel file. Automatically generated out of the design you did as a designer. We do not need you as an Excel file manager. We need you as a designer. We need you to bring the design from the customer to the factory. And it's a waste of time for you to sit down and fill out all these Excel forms. This is not your job. You have to design. <laughs> and it's also not your job to fill out and form how many pieces of, of hardware you need and to watch in this box of the hardware what is the number, the article number of the hardware. This is also not your job. It comes out automatically. Even a price comes out according to that what is, very, what is needed in the market. So all those reports are part of the software and we will teach you how to use the software and how to improve all these processes that you will be a leader later on in companies to, uh, to design the processes in-house, to lead the design to the machines, to the purchase department, to the sales department, all this is something which comes out of the software. And you will be later on the leading position in a company to design these processes. Okay, I will um, continue with my presentation. We have seen in the software that we can change the hardware like I did with this Accenture, this connector. The same we can do also with the drawer sets. We can do the same also with the hinges. And for this, Emos has designed an online library which is in the cloud and you can download exactly that kind of hardware you are need for your next job. So the hardware and the design of the hardware and the drilling information out of the hardware, you just go online, download out of the cloud what you need, implement it in your design and automatically it will transfer to all the reports we have seen. Um, we have done this with a number of, of, um, of manufacturers like Bram, Grass, Hefle, Hettish, Egger and right now because we are much more concentrated on the Indian market we are also upcoming um, with uh, some new libraries of this uh, company's mentioned on the left side, which are well known also in India. So we are more and more into the Indian market and we have to um, adapt this to be ready also for you in your, f in your new jobs later on. We have seen also that out of design automatically we can, we can generate the data for machines, for different uh, machine brands. We will get the bill of material, the part list, assembly list, all this information is just click a button. It is just information out of the design you did in Emos. And also the cost calculation. We have also the information per square meter how expensive is a piece of panel. We know exactly per meter how expensive is one meter edge bending. And it is not that important, not that uh, heavy to sit down and calculate seven meters of this edge bending times 150 rupees, for example. So everybody can do that. Why not the software? So this also we have implemented. No. I will go to the next step. We have seen now how to design one piece of cabinets. We will go now forward and show you how to design a complete kitchen. And the outputs will be exactly the same plus more, plus rendering, 
plus cost calculation and quotation to your clients. But first I have a small video. I hope that the speakers works with my computer. This is just a small story about software. He has the perfect tools to have one. Together with Alex, they can plan the new kitchen virtually and upload it into the cloud. So Lisa and Thomas can look at their future kitchen anywhere on the tablet or smartphone and even project it onto their own four walls so they're able to coordinate it better with their new home. With just one click, their dream kitchen is being ordered and the data is sent to the factory. And now, it doesn't take long until the kitchen is installed in Lisa's and Thomas's house. I like it too. From the first idea, onto the sales processing, through to the production of the kitchen, all stages are covered. Emos IX. The perfect tool. If you design a piece of furniture, just one cabinet, which is parametric and which you can change in sizes and automatically it applies the hardware you need in. So if you can do that, you also can design a catalog. A catalog means you can design a piece of furniture and limit the maximum minimum sizes. You can limit the height and the depth. Important for salespeople because salespeople mostly are a bit crazy. They I uh, like to sell everything which a customer like to have, but you have to also consider under the idea of production if it's able to adapt to my production or not. If you design a cabinet which is 5 meters high and you only have the panels for 2.4 meters, it makes no sense. So, whenever I design a piece of furniture, I can also adapt it to a catalog and limit it. This we will see in a few moments. We will do a rendering like this within the five minutes, including all the cost calculations. And if you want to also, you can try the glasses. I have here some set of VR glasses with me. And what we can do is with Emos in the VR glasses, we can design a kitchen like here and we can adapt it to the glasses for a showroom, for example. And your customer can enjoy, enjoy the design you are doing for them. He can enjoy virtually how a kitchen could look like in future. And he can also double check how the kitchen ergonomy is. So after you have done a design for your customer, he can double check it if he like to buy it or not. Nothing is prepared from the moment uh, on uh, he didn't sign the contract for. But it is a possibility to just double check in glasses out of a software how a kitchen, a kitchen will look like. And I invite you later on to try the glasses here on stage when we have finished our today's presentation. But as you can see, we also can cook virtually. It doesn't smell and you are still hungry afterwards. You will be still hungry afterwards, but you can try and have a look how the height of the kitchen will be, how it feels uh, to, to walk through the kitchen. And with these joysticks, you can just teleport and move yourself. Funny-wise, also, you can destroy and um, throw it away. And there's no one coming up to clean up the room. <laughs> and um, you can just have a look how the kitchen and the environment and the appliances look like so this is the way how a customer in future will have a look in a showroom because in a showroom you have maybe five kitchens available as a showroom kitchen but if you as a manufacturer like to show him 20 different designs how to do so we can adapt those 20 designs to the glasses 
and you can give your customer exactly what he's looking for as a try. You can see with the uh, joysticks, you can teleport yourself and so on. This technology is changing so fast. This set of glasses cost, has cost in the past 1,200 euros. Today, a set of glass costs 300 euros. And I believe in this will be also much cheaper in the next year. So what we can do also in the kitchen is you can have a view, an overview, and you can change the colors according to your design, according to your library. So the customer has an idea how the setup could look like in different designs. What we are doing is with software, we like to make it as comfortable as possible that you are able selling your design to your, uh, to your customer. And this will be the future. And this we will adapt also here in your school. Um, So now, if consider yourself as a position in a kitchen studio, you like to create a design for a customer for a kitchen. You will have in future a piece of software like this, which is in a studio and via the cloud connected to the manufacturer. So when you design something in a studio, you can order it online and it goes directly to the machines with all information which you have done in your studio. So no need to have a designer sitting in the manufacturing office and redesign that what you have sold to your client. This is something which will not happen in future. So in order manager, we go in on here and say we have a, no, a new order. Maybe I call that kitchen underline B N C A. I insert it here. We can adapt it to a new customer um, because we have all ladies are here. I will also choose a lady. Um, I can customize this. And I say, this is not Mumbai, this is Pune. And I will give her a new name. Any name is preferred? What? A R W. Okay. So it will be your kitchen. You have to pay for. <laughs> I will save it now here. And now we see here on the left side we have a new customer. It's a missus. <laughs> I apply it. And now I open this in my EMOS platform for the sales office, for the sales department. You will see now it is much more reduced to that what I have shown you before. Because of the sales people, we will limit them to only to the necessary things of using catalog furniture, adapt them with a design and create a kitchen out of it. For this, we have here a room function. And everybody knows AutoCAD. So I can, uh, can create a room from a polyline. So I can inload here a line from an architect to create a new room. Or you just make a room from scratch here. Tick on this button here and you will design now here a room from scratch. You can choose now here the flooring if you want to. You can change here the dimensions and the color of the walls. So it is written down here. You can make here a corner inside. Um, you can just tick here on the wall and you will have here an option to change the length like this. You have here an option also
to put a corner inside so all this is automatically applied to that room these are standard AutoCAD functions I think most of them you know them it's not that um, not that hard work to adapt that to a software solution um, you can add on here some doors oh sorry you can add on here some doors let's go for a sliding glass door for example you can drop them in here you can tick to the door you can say my width is not one meter it should be one meter and 50 55 or 56 you can also choose here the distance to the next corner 1.4 meter um, you can choose here the height and by this way you have your glass door available this is nothing according to the design you will send to your factory it's just an AutoCAD uh, block which we insert here customize it and put it to the wall this is not that much hard work but important for a customer having um, let's say a, a room which is um, well according to his uh, demands so we can add on here some windows I think that's also not new to you just have here some windows available um, the same what we can do with a door we can also add a window here inside um, again you can tick to the window here and change here the um, size um, you can use simple AutoCAD uh, commands like copy and paste so it is not that new but what we have done in EMOS we have adapt this to our logic that whenever you design a room that the wall in front of you when you are placing furniture when you are placing a kitchen will be hidden same like here so if I take on this and I like to have here a special design uh, then we have that on the on site as well so I close now the room function this is not an important time now it comes to EMOS to create a kitchen in EMOS and to have all these points available for my production I have to have a library which is based on the furniture I have done in advance with all my fittings with all my options I have in my production site so we are only having let's say some shutters from Hettish we only have the flapping doors from Blum we only use the hinges from Epco this is done in advance that, you cast, that your designer is not able to do anything which you don't can provide from your production plant for that Emos has here an option say some global settings we can choose now here the color of the kitchen plant we can choose here the color of the surface we can choose here the color of the door material we can choose here the door settings uh, even you can un uh, unlock this button and you can have different designs for for the um, wall units for example choose some lucky doors you can choose here your handles and you apply it and then you start designing your kitchen there's a kitchen library available in this software which is also having the same content in their production information so with all this drilling patent for a designer in a kitchen studio there's no need to know where is a dowel and where is uh, the connector sitting and which screw belongs to which part and so on no need but for the production very important so we have to match both we have to adapt this information to the point of sale without show him what he is doing in the, in the calculation and in the uh, configuration but for the production we will need it so I can go in here and say please give me a corner cabinet there are two options here we can tick on the name or on the plus if I tick on the name it comes up the configurator I can, can reconfigure this cabinet again and I can place it wait yes one function missing again I can configure it with a new handle for example I can put it here in my in my room is also walking along the wall if I want to and now it comes up with exactly I have chosen as a material it comes up with my handle design it comes up with my worktop design and comes up also with my door design I can add on here now a sink I tick here on sink 
I can choose here a sink as well as appliances. I add it to the basket and now we have here the bubbles. Have a look to the workshop and to the toe kick. It's automatically extended according to my new design, which I have applied to that kitchen. So I can see now here C construction. It's an ongoing construction. No need to have that all the time. The same with my drawers. I can say here, give me two drawers. I can tick here on plus, then the cabinet jumps in with a default size, like 600. I also can tick here on plus or on the name and customize it. The default size is 600. If I like to reduce or extend it, let's say I go for um, 733 millimeter. and I add it, it is now bigger according to my new size. And also with this we have here all the details available for production automatically. And we will have the same reports you have seen for the single cabinet we have designed from scratch. All is already available. For the designer in the kitchen studio now need to know this. But for us uh, later on to translate this to the production it is very important. So I add on one more cabinet here and I like to have also here a side panel for example. I go for a side panel. I tick it and here we add it. Have a look to the worktop. If you add a side panel you also have to extend the worktop. Automatically done. Um, if I go to the cooking field, I choose now here in drawer. We also can, for the sales, we can customize it to fixed sizes. Instead of having a 733 millimeter, we also can say this camera is only available in 600 and 900 millimeter, millimeter. We can choose here the cooking field. Uh, first I go for the size. I can choose here a cooking field and I can choose here a hood. Let's say this. I add it to the basket and now it comes with a cutout for my cooking field. It comes with a hood and also this will be part of your quantity survey, also part of your quotation which we have seen later on. Um, I go for some tall units. I choose now here a tall unit. I choose also some lights on the tall unit if I want to. I can cho choose here uh, some hardware. I adapt it. And now we have that kitchen with this tall unit available. I like to have one more with a coffee machine, for example. Oh, we just we, we just are happy with that tall unit. Therefore, I go here and I like to have also a side panel. I just add on here a side panel. And now I like to have some wall units as well for that kitchen. It's always refreshing the C construction that this is also a long part which goes directly to the to the end of the side panel. And now I have some wall units. I can choose now here a wall unit with a lift door for example. Um, I can choose also here some lights, spot lights and LED lights which are, should be part of the, of the um, wall unit. You can see now here is matching exactly the same height like the, wall uh, like the tall unit. I am inserting this inside here. I have now exactly the color I have chosen in advance with my global settings. I also have here all the drillings information in, uh, ready already with my uh, with my groovings and my round ticks for the lights. I have here a, a function called copy and paste so I can just copy it if I want to. I add on one more. And if the middle should have a glass front 
instead of this acrylic front in lava high gloss, I just have here a button called modify this article and give me instead of a wooden door, give me a glass door. And when we just change it and automatically it's applied to my quantity survey. What we can see now also is that we have here the hardware inside. For example, company Blum as a hardware supplier. All these details with the drillings is part of my of my configuration in a kitchen kitchen studio. So now my kitchen looks nice. I like to have also some niche panels. So I go for the niche panels. We have some clients specialized in India. They have um, backsplashes involved in. So I go for backsplash here. I like to have here some tiles. So we have to adapt the tiles to the kitchen. And there are some companies in India who also like to um, customize niche panels with glass. Uh, you can have it in unicolors or you have a motif on it. So we go here for pepperoni, for example, as a motif. You can adapt it. And then you have also the glass backsplash with that motif available in that kitchen. This is everything which we are providing to the market. So now I'm happy with the design, but for a design, for a quotation, you also need a rendering. And inside of the rendering, you like to have also some chairs, some flowers, maybe a fridge. For that, we go here over to the decoration material. We choose now the kitchen decoration. We choose a dining table. We tick on plus here. Where is it? We can rotate it according to the wall. I tick it in here. I um, like also to have a fridge available. Um, we go for a white one, make, makes sense. We like to have some flowers inside. Some decorations, some plants, for example, on the floor. We choose some of that. These are just AutoCAD blocks. I think this is for you a most easy job to add a new block inside of the library. This is a default library which comes with the blocks, but I mean, sometimes it's nice to have some some options already available for the kitchen studios. It's um, very important. I have here also some mixed decoration somewhere. I can add on some bread and butter if I want to. Um, we can add on here some um, cups. We have here also a cup with the Emos logo on it. It's very nice while having a coffee. Um, and in this way you just make your kitchen a bit more realistic. And now we save that kitchen and when I push the button save the kitchen we have everything done for production. Everything is already ready. What we have seen for the cabinet, what we have done before. Everything is now in my library, in my complete library database, which can be transferred to the machines, cutting list, and the purchase department has all the connectors out of that configuration. Now we go on and designers like pictures, so designers need a rendering. We will start now having a rendering. How long today take it for you having a rendering for a kitchen, for example? I heard six hours. I heard less than six hours. Who is who is doing that in less um, less hours? Who is who is able to make that kitchen rendering available within two minutes? We will, we will teach you how to do that in two minutes. Give me a second to start my machine. Again, you are in the AutoCAD environment and I guess you are quite qualified for this. So I can go into the perspective mode. You can walk into this kitchen here. You can select here the ceiling material. You can adapt here some lights if you want to. You like it? Yes. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and now I start my 
um, possibilities having also sunshine coming in. I think this is uh, familiar to you. We choose you now um, brightness. Nine point four, nine point three, and now I push here a button called rendering big. This is an HD format rendering, and I can guarantee you that takes me nothing more than two minutes having that picture available. Um, now we see it starts my rendering tool. We have here in the right button corner, in the right corner here. The timer. The timer is running here. The, the timer is running. It is a bit too bright. I will stop just my my rendering because it is a bit too bright uh, bright to me. I just go here less. That you have less rendering. 9.1 and I give him a bit of rotation of the sun and start again the rendering so it's a bit nicer right now and what you can see now here in the corner in this corner we have here the timer running 12 seconds 15 seconds I hope I can match it in two minutes, I believe so. But what we can see now is we have the sunshine from the lights, we have the sunshine from the from the windows coming in, we have here the appliances, we have here the glasses having mirroring of the kitchen. This is wooden grain. In my computer the picture looks much nicer because the projector of the resolution is not the same like in my screen. It's also, um, let's say, a quality differences between this both. But again, that picture will be finished within the next, now it's 50 seconds from now. We have five stages of rendering levels. Uh, we are now in level four. And you can see now by timing that rendering becomes better and better. Time is running. And I hope the picture is ready within the next one minute, one minute, 10 seconds, one minute, and I finished now here, 1 minute 15 seconds finished. <laughs> and now I will save it. And it opens again the same folder I have start my organizer with my information for my drawings. You can see there, there is already the same name of the organizer. I save it. I will have one more rendering by night. I will have a look how it looks, it looks by night. So I just close the environment. And I'm doing now a rendering by the brightness of seven. I will do now the same. And by night we will see that the lights give us an effect how a rendering sh could look like. Night is beautiful, huh? And again, it takes us one minute, 20 seconds to have that picture available. Not important for the production, but very important for our clients. So in future, you have to design kitchens, furniture, bedrooms, wardrobes in the same menu. You have to provide these renderings to your clients with lightings, with renderings. But in future, your clients will come to your studio, they will sit in front of you and they don't like to wait for six hours having a rendering and a quotation. They like to have it on time. And companies in future will have this software solutions available and you will teach them how to use it and you will lead these guys in future how to use it. And then the customer is asking you how long take it for production? And then mostly today the people say, okay, okay, I have to start with my Excel sheets. I have to do my, my calculation for my CNC machines, all that stuff. And we will say, okay, we can just push a button and send it straight now to the production. You can see now here also, nice to see that here, 
that the lights having also the effect here, the lights, the lights from that bottom shelf are available. Again, timer is done. One sec, uh, one minute, twenty-three seconds. We save it. Say okay. I go now my into my kitchen here. I will have now here a wireframe view. We see now here that we will have everything already available for that kitchen with all that details. Um, and I go now to my organizer. I make here a refresh. I have now here my kitchen. And now, if I go to the content, to the order lines, we have for every single cabinet now the sizes and the description. And if you remember, the fifth cabinet we feed into the kitchen was a cabinet where we stretched it from 600 to 733 millimeters. Can you read this here? 733 millimeter. It's just a library and, and, and database information which we applied to this report. This is only in report, which is an SQL report which can be transferred in Excel, PDF, Word. We also have here the cost calculation. How expensive this cabinet will be for production. So how many screws are inside, square meter of panel, edge bending, time for production. The only thing is we have to add on our margin and the GST cost to get a final price. Here is now our kitchen. I go now to my to my rendering. I open it. I save it and I go to my reports. And I go for my quotation. I go for my quantity survey. And I go for my loading list and article label, for example. These are just a few of the reports which are available. Now we see here that we have that quotation available. We have the rendering. And we have each and every position listed down with all these details. Again, we can export it to Word. We can have a look in Word now. It's not coming up. I can export it to Word, please. I go to the desktop, save it, close it. And now here is my word quotation, and the same is now available in Word or Excel or PDF. So what we have for our customer is we have the we have the um, rendering, we have the cost calculation, we can change the margin according to our needs, we have in AutoCAD our floor plan, 
we have also the elevations this will be also automatically generated in a kitchen studio and as next is we have here our quantity survey if I look again to that just to have some numbers in mind we can see now here that the kitchen has a consumption of 42 square meters we have 143 meters of edge bending and bolt in we have 580 pieces of connectors and bolt in purchase parts and it took me 6 hours to produce a kitchen and the production costs are 445 euro. Only production costs without hardware. This is just human costs. This is just machine costs, which we have during the six hours. So all in all, it needs to be known to get an idea how expensive my product is for me as a sales partner, and then I have to adapt the prices for my for my um, kitchen studio. The same. We have for each and every cabinet later on a sticker for the packing. The packing also says which position is it, what is the size of that cabinet, and we can, through the four floor plan, we see where we have to place it. And last but not least, also for the truck driver, important to have everything comes together. A loading list. A loading list is all the articles, and also can cal uh, calculate how heavy that kitchen is because we know the square meter we know a density of one square meter plus the connector weight plus the packing weight so we also can calculate how heavy that complete order is important for my production important for my um, transport company and if I export also important so Ah, there was one thing I have for forgot is when a customer steps in and here's my kitchen I can take here on export data if I take on export data I assure to export this data and I take on yes from this moment on it goes from the kitchen studio to the cloud and from the cloud down to the manufacturing part and now this export data is part of his next production data everything is ready for production from the kitchen studio that's it and with this technology we can make sure that we have a direct contact from the consumer to the manufacturing plant so we can we connect from the kitchen studio to the CADCAM we automatically import the order and we automatically configure the products ready for production and get the CNC files. Does anyone of you have heard the word industry 4.0? No. Um, smart factory. This is industry 4.0. This is smart factory that directly from the point of sale you will get the information to your factory there's no need to redesign this information in an office where hundreds of people sitting down and making this excel sheets I guess the people here in that college in that university they don't teach you how to make excel sheets this is not your your job I think you have to make designs from the customer directly to the factory and this is something we will help you with the emo software So I've got a notice that I have to close in two minutes my computer. Um, I will do so. What we can do offline, we also can do online. So it's also possible to load up this into an internet and you can order online with your smartphone. You can configure by yourself this kind of furniture with your smartphone, pay by MasterCard and send the data to the factory. Also this has happened already. And our first client from Pune, he is having such a, shop, uh, sh such a job in India. He was one of the first one who has his online jobs. Workflow is the same, you have to design first, you have to order online and then we get the information for production.
Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'm sure all of us are very excited to use this. Now we're going to take a short break for high tea and snacks. Guests are requested to proceed outside the auditorium, whereas the students are requested to be seated near the square courtyard. We will resume the session at 5.25 p.m. Yeah. 